Hello dear students, welcome in this second part of the first chapter and we are discussing about the asexual reproduction. The next type of asexual reproduction is vegetative propagation in plants or you can say vegetative reproduction in plants. Further, vegetative propagation or vegetative reproduction is broadly classified into two types that is natural type of vegetative propagation or artificial type of vegetative propagation okay so what are the two types of vegetative propagation so these are broadly classified into natural and artificial further natural type of vegetative reproduction is further divided into uh, five type five subtypes these are underground stem vegetative propagation or reproduction by underground stem vegetative reproduction by sub aerial stem vegetative reproduction by roots vegetative reproduction by leaves and vegetative reproduction by bulbs further artificial is also subdivided into three forms that is cutting layering and grafting again underground stems are of different type they have a different type of modifications and that's why they are termed different different names that is rhizome tuber bulb cob we have to discuss one by one uh, in some detail later on and some aerial stems are runner offset sucker stalk okay so let's start with the vegetative propagation and natural vegetative propagation what is vegetative reproduction or vegetative propagation vegetative propagation or reproduction simply stands for the reproduction other than the specialized structure that is spore or fission or bud so these type of structures are not involved at all only vegetal part not a reproductive part only vegetative part of the plant is involved in such type of mechanism actually vegetative propagation always you can say strictly used for the plant reproduction that is asexual reproduction in plants so vegetative part when used for the reproductive processes to grow a new type a new plant of same type this is called vegetative propagation okay now what is natural vegetative propagation nature is very wise and it always have some devices to spread itself in a varieties that's why nature adopt another phenomena other than asexual and sexual reproduction although we study vegetative propagation in asexual reproduction but it is slightly different from exact asexual uh, reproduction but why it is considered under asexual reproduction because this type of reproduction or propagation does not involve the formation of fusion or does not involve the formation and fusion of gametes formation and fusion of gametes that's why it considered as asexual reproduction so the very first structure of natural vegetative propagation is underground stem and there are so many type of underground stems modifications there are first one is the rhizome rhizome is naturally seen everywhere uh, near about in our kitchens in kitchen gardens also and the best examples are curcuma domestica gingiber of senalis even uh, musa paradisica banana yes and canna indica the can so these rhizomes are underground stem see this is if it is a ground level it is a ground so these are underground stems and at every node so this is this is this one is node and this is another node the distance between two nodes is internode and that's why it is stem it is confirmed that it is a stem because node and internodes are present here okay so at each node 
a small structure appear and on getting a favorable condition it grows normally this one when ripened and mature the another one grows okay uh, like in banana it is very common method used by the farmers so this is called rhizome now next is tuber tuber is another modification of this stem but this time a tuber is tube like a uh, hollow tube like structure tuber type of structure the best example is uh, solanum that is potato okay solanum tuberosum and that's why it is a tuber structure in solanum tuberosum underground part have some special type of structures called these nodes simply these are called eyes e y e i i of the potato whenever you cut and sow in the soil this becomes a complete plant and that's why this is called tuber and vegetative propagation by the tuber method so i a uh, one i is sufficient to grow a complete plant and hence form many potatoes inside the next structure is bulb it is very common structure in onion you know elipsipa yes and this is the stem this is the stem a uh, conical disc like structure is here very compact and upper part is the fleshy and scaly leaves fleshy and scaly leaves so whenever we use bulbs of such species they easily grow without producing any special structure of asexual type or sexual type they can easily grow only when you sow the bulb in the soil so sowing this you can get a mature complete uh, bulb of onion and that's why it is another method of vegetative propagation natural propagation now corn it is another structure like bulb but a slight difference is there that so many so many small dense particles flowers at the top and so many small particles considered like this yes so this is a corn like structure and each each solid part when you detach from the parent and so in the soil they eventually grow into the mature one so this is all about the underground stem now move to the sub aerial stem vegetative propagation by sub aerial stems sub aerial stems means those stems which are slightly above the ground but touch the ground at least so first structure in the sub aerial stem is runner runner simply uh, so many times when you are playing in the ground you just pull out some grasses uh, what we call in hindi is dub grass dub ka ghas usko kai baar aap logo ne kheecha hoga to just like wo aise nikalta hua chala jata hai tak 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 like the sleeves jo isko hum seete hain aise like this so these are called dub grass when you pull this you feel that at a particular distance they are dipped inside the earth yani they have the rootings hoti hain that's why there are roots so each root hold the uh, hold the soil and that's why when you pull it it produce a sound tick 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 okay so runner grass oxalis is the best example another best example is cynodon dub grass okay where well, up up sawal ye hai ki ye runner se kaise phailta hai means how it helps in the vegetative propagation it is very simple this structure which joins 
the subaerial stem which join the two parts of the same grass when it detach from one another they separately grow into a different mature plant they separately now grow into the different mature plant so by this way runners help in the vegetative propagation and this is a natural phenomena another natural sub aerial stem phenomena is a submerged which is found in the submerged plant this is offset method offset method ka matlab hota hai ki offset are like runners but runners run through a very long distance but offset runs through a very short distance up to one or two structures so best example is ecornia it is also known as terror of bengal terror of bengal इसको टेरर ऑफ बंगाल क्यों बोलते हैं क्योंकि इकॉर्निया क्रेसिपिस एक्चुअली इट ग्रोस एट अ वेरी हायर रेट वेन एवर इट इज प्रेजेंट इन एनी ऑफ द वाटर बॉडी से इट इज अ पॉन्ड और समेरल्स इट ग्रोस एट अ वेरी हायर रेट एंड यूजेस ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ऑफ द ऑक्सीजन इन द वाटर बॉडी और उसकी वजह से वहाँ पे जो एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स होते हैं वो डाई कर देते हैं सो दिस इज कॉल्ड टेरर ऑफ द बंगाल ओके Now, what is the role of offset in the vegetative propagation? You see this structure. This is called offset. The linking structure, which links two bodies together, is called offset. It is a submerged type of plant, and it is introduced in India due to its uh, beautiful flowers. Uh, especially, they uh, they appear in the rainy season, near about rainy season, for the beautiful flowers. and for their pod structures green leafy uh, this structure is very very smooth so this is introduced in india due to this but now it is a problem for us so when this offset this structure get detached as in the runner the two bodies get separated and with the virtue of time they grow into a new plant they grow into a new plant now move to the sucker sucker is another sub aerial structure which is used as vegetative propagule which is used as vegetative propagule what happens in the sucker that a woody plant the best example is mentha here uh, sometimes chrysanthemum is also considered for such type of structures above the ground you see above the ground it is the main stem this is the main stem and these are the side branches branches grow parallel to the ground initially branches grow parallel to the ground but when leaves going to be start the primordial leaf primordial going to be work then it curved in this manner first of all it runs parallel to the ground but when leaf are growing on the branches they move up to the upper side like this structure yes this is the angle and the part which is very near to the ground starts rooting due to which roots are formed and if these branches are cut up from the main plant from the main branch this finally get converted into a mature plant so this is a sucker now next one is stolon stolon is another sub aerial stem and it is very very similar to the sucker it is very very similar to the sucker the only difference is that here branches move parallel to the ground and move upward but here it is strictly bound with this structure with the two structures and in both of these structures roots are rooted inside the ground very well established rooted inside the ground so whenever you break this or by naturally it is break so it is again the both structures again grow into the new plants 
सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द सब एरियल स्टेम मैथड ऑफ वेजिटेटिव प्रपगेशन नेक्स्ट वन इज बाई द रूट्स सम प्लांट्स सम बूढ़ी प्लांट्स लाइक मुराया कॉनिजाई दलबिया सिसो एलबीजिया लेबेक एंड सम अदर प्लांट्स लाइक स्वीट पोटेटो एस्पारेगस एंड अदर प्लांट्स दे प्रोड्यूस बल्ब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर और बड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर सिंपली बड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर इन देयर रूट्स एंड ईच बर्ड eventually gives rise another plant so this is the best method these are some woody plants muraya koinisai dalbergia sisu and albicia lebet these are woody plants okay now natural vegetative prop- propagation by leaves the first example is bryophyllum ब्रायोफाइलम को हम हिंदी में अजूबा कहते हैं इट इज़ ऑल्सो नॉन एज पत्थर चट्टा इन आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन इट इज़ यूज टू रिमूव किडनी स्टोन सफिशियंटली यूज टू रिमूव किडनी स्टोन दैट्स वाई इट इज पत्थर चट्टा मीन्स स्टोन क्लीवर ओके ना इसमें प्रपगेशन uh, कैसे होता है सो ब्रायोफाइलम के लीव्स आपने देखे होंगे अजूबा इज वेरी कॉमन प्लांट इन आवर पॉट्स leaves have grouped margins you can see leaves have some grouped margins at each grouped margin a small plantlet grow and finally a, it convert into a small mature plant a small mature plant whenever this a small mature plant get detached from the parent body it eventually converted into a complete bryophyllum plant and the same with the calanchoe the structures are similar to the uh, bryophyllum leaf but the margins are more serrated more uh, grooved than the bryophyllum now another example in this section that is leaf is begonia begonia is uh, particularly different from this structure because this leaf is like this palmately compound another structure and when veins are divided at different positions these provide a groove like structure or node or internode like structure and at the surface of that leaf not at the margin of the leaf in in bryophyllum and calanchoe the plantlets or bud grow at the margin of the leaf whereas in the begonia the plantlets or bud plant buds are grown on the surface of this leaf here the bud formation takes place so this is the only difference otherwise it is considered as leaves uh, vegetative natural vegetative propagation the next and the last one is the bulbil the next one and last one is the propagation by bulbils bulbils are some specific structures which are present in some of the plants like agave agave is one of the best example for the bulbil type of vegetative propagation and agave in agave like structure some bulbils grow into the buds and eventually they converted into the new plantlets and when detached from the parent body they give rise a new complete plant so this is all about the natural vegetative propagation in next video section we are going to discuss about the artificial vegetative propagation and micro propagation thank you